Hi, my name is Tim Lafeed, and I'm a poly school trainer for Polyglass. Today, I want to show you how to reinforce a scupper using our PolyFlash 1C one part flashing compound. So, anytime you're installing any type of coating or flashing compound, you want to make sure the area is completely clean and free of any dirt, dust, and contaminants. With this scupper, this is a new installation, so it's already pretty clean. We're just going to take some solvent, pour it on a rag, and make sure we remove any oils and contaminants from that metal scupper. Now that we have that clean, we'll take our blower and blow any loose granules from the area. Now that we have our area clean and free of debris, we're gonna to wanna to dry cut our reinforcement to make sure it fits in nice and tight before we actually install any of our one part flashing compound. Now to ensure that we fully encapsulate this scupper flashing, you wanna make sure that you do the corners first. You can see here we've cut two six inch pieces with the fuzzy side down. And we've made relief cuts in the angle changes to make sure they conform and fit tightly. We've also made sure that it extends one inch past the mod bit scupper flashing to adhere directly to the metal. Now our final piece in encapsulating this with fabric is gonna be a piece that extends a minimum of three inches past both sides of the scupper and falls directly into the scupper just like this. You can see we've made relief cuts at the scupper, making sure that it extends one inch into the scupper to adhere directly to the metal, and then our sides will fold up into place just like this. Now you can see this is fully encapsulated in fabric. We can now pull our pieces back off and start to install our polyflash ones. So you can see, I've already taped off the perimeter here. I've done this for a couple reasons. One, we wanna make sure that we install a neat, clean application. Two, we wanna make sure that we don't go too far out past that reinforcing fabric to make sure that it doesn't pull the granules loose off the membrane. Now we're gonna start installing our polyflash 1C at a rate of 30 to 45 wet mils Per layer. We're going to install, we're going to completely encapsulate the bottom of the scupper with Polyflash 1C, add a layer of reinforcing fabric, and another layer of Polyflash 1C at a rate of 30 to 45 mils. You can see here the consistency of this stuff is pretty thick, but it's very pliable and workable. We're going to make sure to get the polyflash 1C all the way out to your taped edge to make sure that you're going to have plenty of flashing compound underneath that polyester reinforcing fabric. We want to make sure that we extend the polyflash 1C a minimum of one inch down past the modified bitumen flashing directly onto the metal scupper. Now that we have our first layer on, I'm gonna take our wet mill gauge, check it for consistency. Looks good, 45 mils. Now that we have our first layer of Polyflash 1C in place, we're gonna install our two corner pieces to completely encapsulate those corners with the reinforcing fabric. Again, we're gonna install this fuzzy side down. We've already dry cut it to fit. And we're gonna lay it right into place, pushing it tight into the corners. Nice trick is to use a dry brush to push this into the fabric and make sure it's completely saturated. We're gonna take our dry brush, push it into the flashing compound, pull out any wrinkles, make it as smooth as we can to make sure that we're not creating a ponding water situation. Now that we've started to see the flashing compound coming up through that reinforcing fabric, we can add another layer at a rate of 30 to 45 wet mills. So now we're gonna add another layer of Polyflash 1C on top of the fabric that we just installed to create a bond between the previously installed fabric and the next layer that we're gonna install. Now that we have that fully encapsulated with our Polyflash 1C, we're gonna add in our last layer of reinforcing fabric to finish this thing off. Again, we're gonna lay this in fuzzy side down. Making sure that it extends a minimum of one inch past the mod bit out onto that good clean metal that we're trying to adhere to. 
We're going to use our dry brush again to push the fabric down into the flashing compound. And once you see that compound coming up through the polyester fabric, you know it's grabbed a good bite and you're okay to put your last layer of PolyFlash 1C in place. Now we're going to install our last coat of PolyFlash 1C at a rate of 30 to 45 wet mils. Again, you don't want this stuff too thick because you're not trying to create a ponding water situation. Pull out any wrinkles in the fabric as you go. Make sure you work it down into the fabric and just out past the edge of the reinforcing fabric onto that good clean metal that we prepped in the beginning. We're gonna take our wet mill gauge and check it for consistency. And it's looking pretty consistent. Thank you for taking the time to watch another one of Polyglass's Tech Tip videos. If you have any questions, please email us at technical at polyglass.com. Thank you.